Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Peppo, your friendly longsword speedrunner. I decided to make this kind of videos because I'm done with speedruns. No, just kidding. I will continue with speedruns, obviously I'm a speedrunner after all. But I wanted to share some information about my favorite weapon so that everybody who wants to understand deeper how Longsword works in Monster Hunter World Iceborne has actually the possibility to do that. So without wasting other time, let's get started! Before jumping into it, let's explain some important stuff we might need to know in order to fully understand this video. Let's talk first about motion values. So what's a motion value? Motion value is a multiplier that basically um, multiply our damage. So the higher is this motion value, the higher the damage we will deal with that attack. Every attack of every weapon has his own motion value and so longsword. So these are all the attacks you can do with longsword and their respective motion values. You might notice that there are some numbers in the brackets. Those numbers are when you are using the spirit bar in order to perform the attack. So basically you have two different motion values if you are using the spirit bar or if you are not. This is something you have to consider. For example, when you have to sheet your weapon, you don't know if you have to use the step slash with triangle or if it's better to use the spirit blade one. Let's talk about special sheet. This movement it's a new mechanic that Capcom introduced in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. You can use special sheet after every attack of Longsword except the clutch glue attack. So it's really useful if you want to cancel out uh, the final animation of special attacks. For example, the three most useful ways to use this mechanic is to cancel out uh, the final animation of round slash. As you can see, you can cancel out uh, that part of the animation so you don't have to sheet your weapon in a normal way like you did back in Monster Hunter World but instead you can special sheet your weapon and be ready for a Yai Slash or a Spirit Yai Slash Another useful time you can use special sheet is to cancel out the animation of Spirit Blade 3 As you can see in the video you can completely cancel out the last hit of the Spirit Blade 3, which I remember are 3 hits. So instead of hitting 3 times, you can cancel out the last hit. And this can be useful, as you can see in this clip on 
Tigrex, for example, um, I'm, I'm using this special trick to deal damage and then be ready for a spirit eye slash. You can also cancel out the second animation of the foresight slash, so you just will evade and you will not land the hit, but instead you will special shit. And this can also be done like in this clip on Tigrex, when he does the bite, you can R2 plus circle for side slash and then be ready because he will do the attack with his leg, his four legs. So this can be really useful if you are, for example, are fighting T-Rex, but it can be applied on other situations as well. The last really useful time you can use special sheet is after Helmbreaker. It doesn't really matter if you decide to press triangle in midair or you don't want to press triangle so you just land the helm breaker super close to the ground. In both cases you can press R2 plus X special sheet your longsword and you will cancel out the last part of the animation. Because if you don't do it, you will have a pretty high animation commitment of Helmbreaker after executing it. Another important feature about Special Sheet is the possibility to turn yourself in any direction when performing it. So it doesn't matter which attack you are doing, you will always be able to Special Sheet the longsword in any direction you'd like to. And if you are asking yourself if quick sheet is worth it or not, the answer is pretty simple, it's not. I mean the difference in frames is so tiny that it's not worth it at all if you speedrun. Of course, if you are playing for farming or just for having fun with friends, you can use whatever you want, but it's not a skill that it's necessary if you want to play longsword. This is something important. I don't really know why Capcom didn't decide to make difference larger if you use this ability or if you are not. Hey, hey, wait guys! Before kicking some monsters asses with your longsword, consider that this video was the first part of a series I would like to bring on this channel. So if you like this format and are curious about more videos about how longsword works, make sure to thumb up the video and let me know in the comments. Thank you!